shoulders on the shape of the ribcage. So here, we'll look for a maneuvering on the sternum. See if we can see it. Then sternum, then sideways process. We may be able to see. Um, of course, ribcage. You can ask them to suck it in. Maybe we can see this thoracic arch or uh, costal angle. literally 
back. Look at the shell. Isn't that clear? The plane here is forward. So it is back to the plane is as follows, and then into the socket, get humerus, greater cubicle. Questions on that? Well, we could have a The shape that you said we will see, is that the fair shape? Yes. It'd be nice if we could see. Great. Okay, come forward under this a little bit further under this light. So can see. That's great. Superb.
I see the muscle bundles pulling and letting go. Now, to the extent that you're able, just draw your arms forward like this, just bring them right around. The light is it should be at sort of an angle here, but I'm doing what we can. I see the stretch of the bundles of the trapezius. And the scapulae are pulled off, so this then is rib cage, basically influenced by trapezius. Muscles of the back, long muscles of the back. And then back, back to, and just at rest. You see the trapezius ready to perform, ready to pull up on the, on the uh, scapulae, drawing them together or up. You see these bundles here before the trapezius begins to rotate. step forward, we'll get you in a better position relative to the light. Do that same thing again, just rock toward your left, laterally flex to your left. You people over here, can you see the erector spini muscles? Really clearly. And then back up. So either side of the spine or 
proceed when the model takes a break. And you'll get it back into sort of a configuration <coughs> with which you're familiar, you know? And it's at that point, then you can ask them to go back into the pose, follow what's happening, and see where you are. Can you raise your left arm up to the side here, just straight up? Looks like me. But real slow, go back down. Real slow. Okay, hold it. Very clear on vertebral border. This does this trapezius, coming down and thinning out. And as trapezius thins out, Retrospinae muscles build up. Now, your arm like that, just watch me, Fritz. Just sort of do, do this really slow. To me, it's amazing. And then back to just sort of uh, laterally, just right out to the side and then drop it. It's amazing that, <clears throat> could you hold it there just for a second? If these muscles are immobilizing the hand, <clears throat> fingers are flexed, that's from here. Arm is extended, that's from here. Arm is abducted, that's from here. Shoulder is raised, that's in part from here. Yeah, you got it. Okay, right there. Got it. So 
show that that muscle goes to the center of the side of the arm. I don't think so. Let me give you a little bit of resistance as you raise your right arm up to the side, keeping it. Yeah. And relax. We're watching this. Too many parts to this lesson, I want to show you some slides and see how the masters dealt with all this stuff.